Okay, so what is better between the Chromecast second generation versus the Screen Beam Mini 2? Well, guys, it really depends, okay? So I'm gonna give you the uh, pros and cons and give you some examples of each of these, uh, including like uh, gameplay, uh, YouTube, stuff like that, okay? Well, first of all, okay, so both these de devices, I mean, you, you'd be able to screen mirror your Android device, your smartphone directly to your TV. So what is ever on your phone, you'll be able to show on the big screen, including like photos, videos, uh, YouTube, Netflix, uh, even like music, like Pandora, uh, and such. So anyways, let's start off with the Chromecast, okay? First of all, with the Chromecast, guys, in order to connect your smartphone to your HDTV, you need a Wi-Fi network. With no Wi-Fi network, you cannot do anything, okay? So even if you're showing a presentation, you're going to work, there has to be Wi-Fi there. It has to be, uh, it can't be faulty Wi-Fi and you have to be able to get the Wi-Fi password, okay? And you cannot use mobile data, guys. No cellular, cellular data uh, can be used with this. Now, there is a way you can do it. If you use like a hotspot, you have to use like two phones, but 99% of you guys aren't going to be doing that. With the Screen Beam Mini 2, you do not need no Wi-Fi or, uh, I mean, you don't need anything. Basically, it connects directly from the, um, the display adapter, directly from the back of your HDMI, directly to your phone. So you don't need Wi-Fi. You don't even need mobile data, but if you don't have mobile data, then obviously you're not going to be able to watch like streaming media like YouTube and Netflix and stuff like that, but you will be able to uh, show like presentations at work. All you do is connect the device and you connect to it and bam, you can show presentations. You can still do uh, video play. Uh, you can show your um, pictures and uh, videos like locally. So it's great if you want to like go to someone's house with this, plug in the back of their HDTV or any monitor has an HDMI port, you'll be able to show them uh, photos and videos on, on the big screen. With the Chromecast, you can do the same thing, but you need a Wi-Fi network and of course you need to connect to it. Okay, the second thing is an iPhone. What can you do with an iPhone, okay? Well, first of all, if you're using the Screen Beam Mini 2 and you're using an iOS device, you cannot do anything. With the Chromecast, you're not going to be able to screen mirror. However, you will be able to cast apps like YouTube and Pandora and Netflix. And, and, and what do I mean? I mean, the difference between like Casting and screen mirroring. Screen mirroring is if you're screen mirroring a like YouTube video, everything that is the YouTube video on your phone, you're gonna you're gonna have a video on your phone as well as your YouTube, your HGTV playing simultaneously. With casting, it's only going to be playing on your TV, but you're you're able to control the volume, the pause, fast forward, and stuff like that from your phone. So let me give you like a quick example here. Let me go ahead and open up a YouTube app here, and here is the casting icon, guys right here, so this is not a screen mirror, it's casting, so now I'm gonna connect to my Chromecast here, and I'm gonna play a YouTube video here. And of course I can like fast forward here, I can pause, Time. and see I if that works. Lower the volume see down, and obviously it goes directly to my HDTV, and and the same thing with Netflix too. I can do the same thing. I can just like cast it, okay? With the, and this is an iOS device and this is an iPhone 6. So I'm not gonna be using anything with iPhone on the screen beam, only the Chromecast, but I can only cast. I cannot screen mirror. I cannot show my, I cannot play games. I cannot show my photos and videos uh, locally uh, to my HDTV. So let me pause on that and let me go ahead and disconnect. And now let's do this. Why don't we do gameplay, guys, okay? And, and let me tell you one more thing about uh, not having Wi-Fi, um, not needing Wi-Fi or anything like that. With the screen beam, you don't need Wi-Fi, and you can connect using mobile data. And like I said, the Chromecast, you, you cannot use mobile data unless you use the hotspot, but like I said, most of you aren't gonna be, do, aren't gonna be able to do that. So I can use mobile data. So in other words, I can bring this entire TV, put it into my car, plug my TV in, and then right from my phone, I can go ahead and I can watch Netflix or YouTube because it'll be streaming from my mobile data. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do this, okay? Let's go ahead and connect uh, Chromecast. Now I have the ScreenD Mini 2 and the Chromecast are both plugged into my HDMI ports in the back of my TV. And you can see that I'm using, this is the Chromecast right here. Let me just focus in on here. You can see that it's the Chromecast. I think it's HDMI 2 right now. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna show you how to connect. This is the HTC One A9 here, and I'll show you how to connect it. I'm just gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna click on the gear icon right here and I'm gonna click on HTC Connect. Now, different phones are gonna have different things. Your, yours may, your Android phone may say like actual screen mirror, like a lot of the Galaxy phones, the Galaxy Notes will say screen mirror. Other phones will say smart view or media output or all share. HTC One says uh, HTC Connect. So basically a screen mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And here's my Chromecast here, so I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. Now it's a screen mirror. Another way to connect to, it, to the Chromecast, too, if you have the actual Chromecast app, and you can connect it uh, within the app as well. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's go ahead and play a game here. I'm going to play uh, Traffic Rider, and I'm going to play the same exact game on the same exact phone using the screen uh, Beam Mini 2 as well. So you can go ahead, and don't forget, this is going through my Wi-Fi. Okay, not sure why my volume's not working, but I'm just going to continue with this. And I'll play a little bit more, and then I'll go ahead and switch. I'll switch to the uh, Screen B Mini 2. I have no idea why this volume is not working and my Wi-Fi connect connection here too is quite fast It's about like a hundred I'm a little bit far from my other room so it's probably like 80 megabits per second download so it, it's quite high oh so make sure you're looking at like both both of my uh, devices here okay I think you pretty much got the picture with that okay so let's do this now let me go ahead and connect the, the uh, screen beam mini 2 now okay that was the chromecast now let me go to my inputs here and i think the screen beam mini 2 is probably i think it's on hdmi 4. ah okay never mind it's hdmi 2. Give this a second to uh, find the screen beam. Okay, now it says ready to connect. Now, how do you connect to the uh, your phone? It's the same thing. You just scroll down, and I'm going to go into the. Uh, well, let me disconnect from my um, uh, Chromecast. Now I'm going to scroll down, click on the gear icon again, and I'm going to go to HTC Connect. And then what I'm going to look for, I'm going to look for this receiver name down here, this SBWD, which is right here on my phone. So I'm going to connect it. And it says connecting you now. Magic is about to happen. And then I'm going to play the game. Hopefully the sounds like working on here too. I don't know what is going on, but okay. So I'm going to play the same game again. Oh yes. Oops. The sound is working. Okay, perfect. I can raise the volume up and down from here as well. On my phone, it goes directly to my TV. And don't forget, I'm not I don't I'm not using my Wi-Fi for this. It's connecting directly with the screen beam directly to my phone. It's it's basically a, what you call like a Wi-Fi direct. Oh. Okay, let me play a little bit more. Okay, let, let me continue now. Raise the volume a little bit more now. Now, at least the sound is working on here now. I'm not sure why it wasn't working on the Chromecast, but I've never experienced that before. Maybe it was my phone, I don't know. So make sure you're looking at both my phone and my HDTV at the same time so you can kind of see 
like how much like lag. I mean, they're both pretty pretty good, I think. Um, but like I said, on the the Chromecast, I am on a pretty fast Wi-Fi network, and this Screen Bean Mini Two, I'm connecting uh, directly to Wi-Fi Direct. Okay. I forgot to show you guys um, like my gallery, like photos and videos. So I'm on the Screen Bean Mini Two right now. So let me just go into gallery here, and then here's a video. Let me push on play. And I can raise the volume here. Of course, again, it'll go directly to my uh, HDTV. I'm going to push on pause here. Which I'm about to do on like the screen beam and Chromecast. And let me show you some uh, photos here, and then we'll switch to the uh, Chromecast. And here's some like photos. It's a video. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this now. Let me go ahead and connect to the Chromecast right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, low on battery. Got to hurry up. So let me go ahead and go to my input now. And I'm going to go to HDMI number four, which is my Chromecast. And then I am going to go ahead and go with the uh, screen mirror here, HTC Connect. I'm going to click on that. Wait for the Chromecast to pop up here. I think I had YouTube last on here. Hold on. Let me get out of the uh, screen beam. Okay, let me go back and connect now. HTC One. Let's wait for the Chromecast here to pop up. And here it is. Let's click on that. And now let me show you the same video and the photos uh, locally here. Okay, so here's the photos. I mean, it's pretty much the same to me. And here's the video I was playing. And let me raise the volume on here. This is so weird. I don't know why the volume is not working now. This is the Chromecast, too. I have no idea why my volume is not working, but once I find out, I'll put it in the description as well. Okay, so now I'm back on the Screen Beam Mini 2, and I just want to note that I cannot cast any apps. I can only screen mirror. So if I'm watching a YouTube video, I have to mirror it. Play this video here. It's going to be showing okay, so for guys have a both Android on my phone. exactly what's on my phone. It's going to be on my TV as well. And the only thing, the down thing about that is it's going to burn out my battery a little bit faster on my phone rather than just like casting it. So, and this is the same thing. I mean, there is you cannot cast uh, any app. It's everything is going to be screen mirrored on here. So if I got out of this, then it's going to shut off my um, my YouTube. Same thing if I'm on Netflix or like Pandora or anything. If you're on the Chromecast and you're casting like a YouTube video, I didn't show you guys, but what you can do is actually when you're playing a YouTube video and you're casting it, not screen mirroring it, you're able to um, go into your other apps. You'll be able to make a phone call, send a text, um, pretty much anything. And... I think that's pretty much it. I think one of the biggest things, you know, is in regards to like Wi-Fi. If you guys don't have a Wi, you know, if you don't have Wi-Fi or not a good signal, you're gonna have trouble with this. Again, the screen beam, you don't need Wi-Fi. You don't even need mobile data, you know. But then, of course, the only thing you can do is look at pictures, uh, videos uh, that you have stored locally on your phone, and you can play games. But if you have mobile data, you can still pretty much do everything you want to do, as if you had like Wi-Fi. Uh, with the Chromecast, another plus with the Chromecast, I guess, would be with the iOS device. At least you can still cast um, like YouTube, uh, Pandora, HBO Go, uh, Netflix. And even when you're casting it, you're able to uh, log out of it, get out of it, and make phone calls and stuff like that while, like, for example, a Netflix show is playing like in the background. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions between the two prices, these two devices like let me know comment below you guys like share subscribe that'll be great i'll be making more videos on other devices as well some comparisons so please subscribe all right thanks bye